Hello and congratulations on lasting a whole week of doing school at home. I am wanting to make a video today because I heard that a lot of you are having a hard time with feelings of being scared and feeling very fearful. And I just wanted to address that for each of you right now. Um, First of all, uh, fear is really normal, and fear is really normal during a time like this when there are things to be scared about. So when there is a pandemic going around and people around you are getting sick or could possibly get sick and people aren't going to school and people aren't going to work, it would make sense that your brain would start to tell you like, hey, something's going on and should I be scared? And your brain then is creating the chemical that's creating the emotion of feeling fear. And that is really, really normal. And that fear is actually healthy for you because of that. what that fear does is it keeps you inside. It keeps you not going to your friend's house. It keeps you from going to play sports. It keeps the school from staying open and keeps everybody where they should be so that everyone is safe. So that feeling of fear is actually really healthy for you because it's going to get you to do what you need to do. Okay, so here's when that fear could turn into something that's not healthy for you. So that fear really quickly can turn into something called anxiety, which I know that a lot of you feel and have experienced before in the past, even before coronavirus. And so anxiety is not something that's healthy for us. Anxiety is not normal. Fear is normal. It's a chemical that starts to be created in the brain, the emotion that starts to come to tell us like, hey, don't do that. It's dangerous. And, we, and you want to survive, you want to stay safe. So your brain starts to do that. When you start to feel anxiety, that's when your brain starts to switch into another gear and your brain starts to tell you like, hey, you should feel afraid even when you shouldn't feel afraid. So for instance, let's say that you have been social distancing, right? Which all of you have. You're not going to school. You've not been to school for a whole week. And before that, you had spring break. So you've done all of your classwork at home. You've not seen your teachers. You've not seen your friends. You've not sat at your desk. And if your brain is still telling you, hey, you should be really, really, really scared, that's then when it turns into anxiety because there's not a threat. Now, if you were at school and you were sitting in your desk and you were around all of your friends and you were around all of your teachers and coronavirus was going on, then you should still feel really afraid because you're an immediate threat, there's a danger. But because you're at home, you're safe. You're doing what you need to do to be safe. So that's when your brain needs, you need to kind of grab that, grab that thought and recalibrate it for yourself. So um, what I wanna teach you to do is this thing called thought feeling action. It's um, from cognitive behavioral therapy. And what it does is when you start to have a thought that is not good. So the thought is, oh, I should be so afraid, I am not going to make it. You need to catch that thought, stop that thought, and change it to, I actually don't need to be afraid because I have been practicing social distancing and I have not been going to school and I'm not around my friends and I'm not sitting at a desk that other people have been sitting at and I don't have a very high chance of catching coronavirus. So when you start to think, oh no, I'm so afraid, what's going to happen to me? Stop that thought, catch it, and change it to, nope, I'm okay because I've been here at home where I'm safe. Once you start to change that thought to, I'm home, I'm safe, take a deep breath. And after you take that deep breath, I want you to focus on, okay, now what do I feel? Okay, now that I'm thinking about I'm staying home, I've been practicing social distancing, I've not been to school, I'm keeping myself safe, I'm taking care of myself, I'm really lowering my chances of catching coronavirus. Then it, do you start to feel better? Do you start to feel more relaxed? Do you start to feel less anxious? Do you start to feel more in control? Do you start to feel that things are going to be okay? Then after you've got that feeling, take another breath. After you let that breath out, then think about what it makes you want to do. So this is when you now think about your action. Okay, I've changed my thought, which has then changed the way that I feel. Now what does it make me want to do? Does it make you want to continue social distancing? Does it make you want to continue working from home? Does it make you want to continue to think, I'm doing a good thing staying at home and it's really good that my teachers are teaching me from home? And does it make me want to continue in that action? So what you want to do is there's a thought. So when your thought is not where it should be, so when you start to be overwhelmed with fear, stop that thought and be like, actually, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. 
the fear is only there to keep me from going to school, which I've done. Therefore, I don't need to feel the fear anymore. So that's when you don't want it to turn into the anxiety. So you stop that, stop that feeling. I'm sorry, stop that thought. And then once you've stopped that thought, replace it with the correct thought, which is I'm social distancing. I'm working from home. This is what I'm supposed to do. It'll keep me safe. Then focus on how you're feeling. Okay, I'm feeling relaxed. I'm feeling less anxious. I'm feeling like I'm doing the right thing. I'm feeling more in control. And then think about your action of what you want to do next. Okay, I want to continue doing this. I want to continue social distancing. I want to continue working from home. And so that little thing that you can do, changing your thought, which changes your feeling, which then changes your action, can actually completely change the way that you're thinking about being at home and thinking about doing work from home. And again, I want to emphasize with you, if you are feeling anxious, stop yourself and ask yourself, do I need to feel anxious? Is there an actual threat? So if you are staying at home, then no, there's not a threat. You're doing the right thing. The fear that's kicked into your brain that's kept you from going to school is just enough to keep you safe. So if you start to have the anxiety at home, but you've been doing the things that you're supposed to do, that's when you need to kind of capture that thought, right? And the Bible says, take every thought captive and make obedient, make it obedient to Christ. So we want to take that thought captive, making it obedient to Christ, which is saying, nope, I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm safe because I'm at home and I'm going to be okay. All right, well, I hope that this helped you guys and I will check in with you in a week or so. Bye.